This time, a year ago, there was no water here. No ducks, no cattle splashing around, just a little bit of mud. Now though, gorgeous. Though this cow didn't seem to want to share. The clouds were starting to build up and it looked like there might be a little bit more rain. And, well, I wasn't too far off on that. But you know, those southern Alberta skies, kind of doesn't matter what the day is like, they're always gorgeous. There was cloud all around, but here at Severn Dam it was fairly sunny. The pelicans had flown in and they were gathering to eat up a bunch of those freshly stocked trout. This cormorant, I think, was taking notes. These pelicans are fascinating to watch. They seem to be herding the fish. Then when they get a bunch together, bingo, buffet time. Such cool birds. Tchaikovsky should have written Pelican Lake. But as I was watching these guys hunt, the sky started to get a little dark. There was a storm coming in, absolutely, but strangely it wasn't raining yet. Mind you, I still got wet from photographing the waves on the shore. But it was kind of strange seeing it sunny and cloudy and blustery and... Well, that's southern Alberta skies for you. The storm was coming from the northeast and the wind was coming straight out of the west. The pelicans barely had to move their wings to fly up the lake. It looked like there were three separate storms and they were about to collide and then... nothing. Everything just calmed right back down again. There were storms all around, but they seemed to have missed Severn Dam somehow. But oh, those skies. The storms might have passed, but they left those gorgeous clouds behind. So I drove on toward them, hoping to get some pictures. Pretty soon, I got rained on. Which wasn't at all a bad thing. Despite all the rain and snow we've had this spring, a lot of the sloughs out this way are still very dry. It's going to take a lot of days with rainy skies like this to bring them back to their former glory. I didn't have to go very much farther along the road to find the edge of the storms. Over here on the eastern side of the wintering hills, the clouds were kind of ragged, but there was blue sky coming through. But I had one more place I wanted to check. Dry sloughs are one thing, dry lakes are another. So I headed over to Dead Horse Lake. And Dead Horse Lake was... dry. Cloudy, stormy, with one last pretty surprise. Yeah, there are so many things to love about Southern Alberta, but one of the best has to be the skies. <laughs>